Next-gen reasoning is a new innovative format replicating the essence of a next-gen six-question unfolding case study, but uses simple, open-ended responses replicating practice. Each question goes deeper by requiring students to identify the rationale for each response to evaluate their thinking. Since higher-level thinking is developed through the open-ended format of next-gen reasoning, students will be able to anticipate the best responses when they actually work through the alternative multiple multiple choice items on NextGen NCLEX. I'm excited to share this new resource with you. So let's take a look together. Just like the NextGen, I have a separate medical record. But my medical record, I wanted to replicate practice, not look like a file folder and very generic. So therefore, I've replicated the formatting of EPIC with the way that it looks in EPIC, with the vital signs and all the components of what you see in electronic health record and how that looks, as well as the nursing assessment and the lab results. Then as the nurse reviews the medical record that's separate, just like they will do in practice, as well as with NextGen, now I have the patient. And now each aspect with open-ended questions that in essence reflect the highlight text item of NextGen by having them to identify each aspect from the present problem, the very first component, what do you notice that is most important or concerning? And what does it mean? The same for the vital signs on the medical record. Breaking it down, what do you notice? What does it mean? The assessment findings that are right here. What are you noticing? What does it mean? Then the same with the diagnostic and labs. And once they've done that initial in noticing and interpreting question two, is now asking about possible prioritizing hypothesis. What are the possible problems that are present? And I don't use the word hypothesis because it's not the language of practice. It's psychometric test language. I'm not going to go do that. But we do, in essence, identify the problems. Priority problem, pathophysiology for question two. The third question identifies the primary problem as, you, as you've identified it and you've discussed this in class. This is where you can have an open-ended Socratic discussion using this as a Socratic framework. Now we go to question three, what orders would you anticipate? And again, that's creating knowledge, going straight to the top of Bloom's taxonomy. And again, helping your students to brainstorm, to think, develop the thinking, not just the, oh, they're gonna see a three column matrix. We need to kind of prepare them for that. Develop the thinking first. So again, what are the anticipated orders, rationale, and expected outcome? The fourth question is now getting into the responding, the plan of care. What's the nursing priority, the priority interventions, rationale, and expected outcome? But it's open-ended. And so it's more difficult than a next-gen item. But in essence, if they can do this in class, you're preparing them for the complexities of what they'll see with a multiple choice where they can select because they'll be able to anticipate. Now for question five, you have the evaluative component aspect where you have new data two hours later. And now I have a three column matrix and I love the three column matrix in the context of evaluation. Has it improved? No change or declined. And then I kind of go deeper now where next gen doesn't go there. And next gen will stop with that question of the evaluation component. But nursing process is cyclical and it's repeated over and over again throughout a clinical day. So now I ask the question of practice. Has the overall status of the client changed based on what you've seen here? Has the overall status improved, no change or declined, and why? That's new, and that's what I added to replicate practice. And then I add this question that replicates, now after you evaluated, what's the current priority? What's the current priority intervention? And again, helping your students to say, okay, it's not a snapshot. Clinical reasoning is an ongoing process or motion picture throughout the day. And then finally, I close with reflection questions. What did you learn? What content or concepts you need to make understand, make better change judgments, and how will you apply what you learned to improve patient care? If you would like to learn more and see how you can use these innovative case studies to develop the clinical judgment required for both next-gen and professional practice, please check out the link below. Mm -hmm.